graduates, you may be seated. Thank you. Good morning, parents, family members, and friends, IUSD community, IUSD faculty and staff, Mayor of Inglewood, County Administrator, IUSD board members, constituents, and the class of 2022. <laughs> to start our program, I'd like to ask Ms. Oni Dawood to come to the stage. Please stand at attention for the national anthem led by Ms. Oni Daoud. Hello. <laughs> So proudly we've held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the Give her another hand, please. You may be seated. We are here today to celebrate a momentous occasion, the culminating event of a four-year journey, the graduation ceremony here at the Kia Forum. My name is Dr. Saba Araya, and I welcome you all to the City Honors International Preparatory Schools 2022 Commencement Ceremony. Before honoring our spectacular students, I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge our outstanding supportive staff. Will the City Honors faculty and staff please stand? Thank you. Graduates, commencement marks a milestone in your lives. As you begin this journey, please join me in thanking a very, very important group of people. Your parents, family members, and friends. They are also guests of honor at today's celebration. You may face the audience and wave to your support system. Stand up and wave.
now for the class of 2022, I pinned this letter, excuse me, just for you. You, you can follow along if you like, it's in your program. Um, okay, dear class of 2022, you entered your high school careers almost four years ago, not knowing the traje trajectory, excuse me, of your secondary path. At City Honors, you saw old friends from primary school, you met new friends, you lost friends, and you gained more friends. During your freshman year, school life was fresh, exciting, and new. You learned how to navigate all two floors of the W building, only to find that you had to head across campus at some point during your block schedule to the gym for physical education. Although the school shared a campus with middle schoolers, you were still considered the newbies. Senior square was off limits, but you knew one day you would be the seniors who ruled the square. Nonetheless, you made it through freshman year with six classes under your belt and on your way to 230 credits. Sophomore year, year two of high school brought about somewhat of a challenge with higher expectations in academics. Classics like world history or AP world history, chemistry and algebra two cause you to put in more study hours, write more papers and really learn how to take notes. This was the first time that many of your peers cried over grades, sat out tutoring session and formed study groups. This for sure was not freshman year. Somehow or another, you all made it through the first semester. It wasn't that bad, right? In the next few weeks after the second semester began, the world experienced a pandemic that would cause all of your classes to be taken online. You were forced to learn several new platforms to partake in virtual classes. Whether logging into Zoom, uh, Google Meet, or WebEx, you survived the rest of the semester at home with the assistance of Chromebooks, home computers, hotspots, and Google Classroom. By your junior year, you were, a, you were a pro at logging into virtual school daily. Technical difficulties had somehow subsided. You are now an upperclassman. 2020, 2021 would be the year that you would take your first college course, most likely. You had heard for two years how rewarding a college class would be in your post-secondary academic career. You heard your counselors speak about going to college with advanced standing many times, and you were finally experiencing it firsthand. You began to think more and more about what you wanted to do when you grew up. You also contemplated the uncertainty of college throughout the pandemic. Junior year out of all of your years proved to be possibly the most difficult year, not because it was fully online, but because the unknown had lain a thin layer of unpredictability for your future. Yet again, you survived. You passed your classes and found yourself on track to senior year. August 2021 began the last year of your high school career. The feeling of excitement, joy, and new possibilities showed up and brought about another wave of emotions with the opening of school. After 16 months of virtual school, you found yourself trying to assimilate back into classroom desks with clear plastic shields, desk wipes, accessible hand sanitizer, sanitizer purified air and boxes of face masks. Transitioning from one learning environment to another proved to be novel, confining, and downright different. Everyone had to relearn the ideal of school before the pandemic. However, this never really happened. Students were used to br being on computers for hours at a time, so classroom instruction was simply hybrid. This benefited college application season. Chromebooks allowed you to research the college, job, career, internship, or military branch of choice. It also allows students to work on PIQs, FAFSA, Common App, or scholarship requests. Application season came and went, and the second semester of senior year brought about new courses, new professors, if you were taking the college class, and new challenges. Despite applying to one or more college or university, anxiety continually built up to the receipt of college acceptances. Prom came and went, senior photos came and went, senior breakfast and grad night, all gone. Now today, you're seated with your classmates, dressed in your cap and gown and ready to cross the, pro the proverbial stage of high school to college career, military or gap year for some of you. 
The juxtaposition of pure joy and anxiety wrapped into one ceremony lends itself to the celebratory event that is culmination. It is the end, but not really. Today is the final day of your high school career, the day you have dreamt about for almost four years. This is the day where you celebrated you are celebrated for all of your hard work, efforts, and accomplishment. I, your principal, am so very proud of you. Many of you were my students as freshmen, and I cannot deny how bittersweet this moment is for me. I watched you walk in the door of City Honors, and I am in honor of you as you walk out of the door and into the real world. You have come this far and will continue to be the best that you can be at all times, even when no one is watching. You are a student of character and your integrity will take you further, farther than any degree you will ever have. Remember the six pillars and the words that were spoken during your entrance interview, the character pillars that will always assist you on your journey in life, which are respect, responsibility, caring, fairness, citizenship, and trustworthiness. Now go out into the world and let your passions guide you. Class of 2022, you're so special, you're so resilient, you're so brave. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you. Love you too. Thank you for allowing me to be your teacher and your principal. To inspire our graduates, we shall now hear important messages from two of our distinguished guests, the Inglewood Mayor and the ISD Board President. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Mayor of Inglewood, Mr. James P. Butt. What's up, Inglewood? You know, I, I got to tell you something that... Um, it is such an honor to be here. Uh, Councilman Alex Padilla and Councilman Eloy Morales from Revere Turin <laughs> and myself are supposed to be across the street at the Summit of the Americas. But you know what we told them? We said we gotta be here first for City Honors. You guys have the coldest name of a school I've ever heard of, City Honors International Preparatory School. That is some kind of name. You parents should be so proud of what your children have accomplished. <laughs> and the word preparatory is so important because uh, I've been in public service for 50 years. I've been a police chief three times, um, assistant general manager at the airport, mayor for going on 12 years. But I intended when I was young to be an attorney or a Los Angeles Laker. Oh, you're laughing at it. That was my aspiration. That was my dream. However, first and foremost to me was to be good at whatever I was doing. To do the best I could every day in school. To do the best I could with my homework. It was just a passion with me. I sold souvenirs at Dodger Stadium when I was 16. I was the best souvenir basket guy there was. I worked at Finkel Lawn Furniture Company when I was in college and had knee surgery and lost my basketball scholarship to save up my car. I was the best lawn bagger there was, lawn chair bagger there was. And what I'm saying is, is that success is a habit you develop every single day because you never know where your life is going to lead you but what you do want is when that time comes and you say oh this is the thing that I was made to do you wanted to be prepared to take that opportunity and be the best so I want to congratulate you I want to congratulate your parents, and I want to tell you that there's just one rule in life. Rule number one, 
He's never be number two. All right. Congratulations, City Honor. Now I'd like to introduce the IUSD board president, Mrs. Margaret Turner Evans. Thank you, Dan. Is this mic on? I'm Margaret Evans, president of the Inglewood Unified School District Board. I believe this is my first time addressing the graduating class in my seven years as a board member. Thank you, Dr. Torres, for allowing this privilege, Dr. Araya, and please hire Alexia as mayor in his absence. Thank you for those words of wisdom. I'd like to introduce my fellow board members, starting with my vice president, Dr. Carlos Richardson McGee. <laughs> Ms. Naomi Hammond. <laughs> Mr. Brandon Myers. And we have one board member, uh, Ernesto Castillo, who is absent. Thank you for your continued support of my tenure as president. Now for a quick public announcement. Today is not just graduation day, it's election day. To all my 18 year olds and older, did you vote yet? Graduates, do you remember when I came to your school with the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta sorority to register you to vote? I hope you, you don't? Well, I did. We did. I hope you received your ballot in the mail and exercised your civil right to vote. If you registered and will turn 18 by November, please remember to vote. Many suffered and some lost their lives so you could have this privilege. The polls are open until eight o'clock, so you still have time to drop off your ballot today. Now, My theme today is thankful. But before I really get started, graduates, Dr. Araya kind of took a little of my thunder. I wanted you to applaud your parents because they've been looking forward to this day since preschool. So <laughs> give your parents a hand. And not only your parents, your grandparents, just your family members. And when we think about your teachers, the cafeteria staff, the custodians, the school safety officers, and all who played a role in your getting here today. Thank them as well. We should be thankful that we are all still here. Look around again. Is there anyone missing that you started school with? Not just way back then, but just last year. Someone is missing. Count your blessings. Just a quick reminder, of how COVID changed the world in 2020 with online learning, not seeing your friends because most of us were on lockdown and not recognizing some when we came back because they were wearing a mask, the racial unrest after the death of George Floyd, the recent hate crimes on black and brown adults and children, yet we are here today, another reason to be thankful. But we came back stronger, city honors became uh, CHIPS, City Honors International Preparatory School, just before the pandemic. And at that time, your school was led by my friend and your principal, Ms. Marsha Haskin, if you remember her from your, sophomore, your freshman and sophomore years. But you are our flagship school. City Honors is the flagship high school of Inglewood, and you make it that way. So give yourselves a hand. You added Mandarin to the curriculum. In fact, I heard some girls speaking Mandarin at the program that I attended on Saturday. They had the recognition ceremony on Saturday and students were talking in Mandarin because what they had learned, I think Mrs. Wong is the, is the teacher. So thank you, Mrs. Wong, for introducing our students to Mandarin and just making City Honors our premier school in Inglewood. Uh, when we came back, to in-person learning, friendships were reestablished, re school became fun again with clubs, new programs, and your senior activities. Edgar Diaz, your valedictorian, yeah. 
did not allow the state of the world to keep him from atten attaining a 4.69 grade point average. And he's on his way with a full ride to Stanford University in the fall, as many of you are. Now, everybody didn't get a full ride scholarship. Everybody doesn't have a 4.0 or better. But there are a few of you, maybe you got a B, you got a C, but you're also to be congratulated. Everybody is to be congratulated. This school, you all deserve a big hug. And the, the moms, the dads, the grandparents, caregivers, and foster parents that stuck by you, all of you deserve a big hug for getting through these last few years. Some of you are going to be starting college. Some of you will start new jobs, new careers. But now, what are you going to do to make a difference in your community in this world or in this world? We have some brilliant students in this school district, many of whom are sitting right here today, and who already envision themselves being the change the world needs. Think about it. In closing, I give you this blessing. May every day give you courage, strength, renewed hope, strong faith, inner peace, and all the many blessings that your future can hold. Congratulations, graduates. Be thankful. And now I'd like to introduce the county administrator, Dr. Erica F. Bray. Good morning. City Honors International Preparatory High School faculty, staff, families, friends, alumni, board members, community, City of Inglewood leaders, and most importantly, our graduating class of 2022. My name is Dr. Erica Torres and I serve as the proud county administrator of the Inglewood Unified School District, a district on the rise. I am joined by my executive leadership team, Dr. Bernadette Lucas, Chief Academic Officer, Mr. Rafael Guzman, Chief Business Official, Dr. Nick Stephanie, Interim Chief Human Resources Officer. And we are here today at the Kia Forum to celebrate you and this monumental milestone, to celebrate your story, your resilience, your accomplishments, and most importantly, the journey each of you have taken that has led you to be here today. Thank you to our partners, the Inglewood Educational Foundation, Mayor James Butt, the City of Inglewood, and the Kia Forum for making this event possible and creating such a memorable experience for our graduates. I also want to thank and acknowledge our Board of Education, our City Council, and the Los Angeles County Office of Education. I would like to also take a moment to extend my gratitude and honor those who have worked tirelessly to provide you with the support to help get you here today. Please stand and remain standing if you are a parent or guardian. Please stay standing. Please stand and remain standing if you are a family member. Please stand and remain standing if you are a friend, a teacher, a counselor, a board member, a coach, an executive cabinet member, an administrator, a labor partner. If you're with the Los Angeles County Office of Education team, if you're a PTA member, if you're an employee of the Inglewood Unified School District, if you're a council member, if you're a city leader, a community member, please stand. Graduates, I'm gonna ask you to please stand and look around this room and join me in honoring everyone who stood. Please stand. Look around the room, graduates, and help me to acknowledge and thank everyone that stood behind you, beside you, and with you. I am 
am firsthand witness to the amazing collective network of support, and I salute all of you for encouraging our graduates through this journey. Thank you so much. You may have a seat. Today is definitely a celebration. We are here to celebrate you, to celebrate your resilience, your accomplishments, and every step that you have taken that has led you to this moment. And we have faced a multitude of challenges together during the past two years as a nation, as a community, as a city, as a school district. Class of 2022 graduates, there are not enough words to express my admiration for all that you have accomplished. I am certain that as you envision high school, a pandemic was not what you had in mind. The uncertainty of what our future would hold combined with endless amount of changes created anxiety, anticipation, and quite honestly, fatigue. You had to transition from in-person learning to distance learning, back to in-person learning or independent study. And even with those constant changes, you rose to the challenge and you are here at your graduation. You were able to persevere and succeed and you never lost sight of your goals and ambitions, nor did you ever lose hope or give up. You have reached within yourself to find the will and determination that will be used as the foundation for your future path. I am inspired by your ability to see beyond any barrier and press forward. I know that you will not only succeed, you will thrive. Graduates, when you walk across this stage to take your diploma, I want you to cherish every moment. Today, we are celebrating your accomplishments, your dedication, and your resilience. You are intelligent, you are strong, you are courageous, and you represent the incredible talent, strength, and determination we celebrate throughout the Inglewood Unified School District. I know that this is just the beginning of a very bright future for all of you, and I am so excited to see where you will go next. As Nelson Mandela once said, the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Graduates, even in the most challenging and unprecedented times, you have prevailed and risen to greater heights. Embrace this beautiful moment with all of the joy and happiness. My greatest hope is that you know what you possess. You have the skills, you have the talent, and the fortitude to achieve every goal that you have set out for yourself. Be brave and continue to rise for your family, for your community, and most importantly, for yourself. Congratulations, class of 2022. At this time, I'd like to call the National Honor Society awardee address students to the stage, Mr. Edgar Diaz, Andrea Iniguez, Hunter Bondock, Mekedis Dana, Charlie Mays, Ashley Pedroza, and John Kennedy. Students represent the top seven students at City Honors. Let's give them a hand. With our top GPA at 4.69, the highest in the district. We're bragging rights. All right, these students will be attending some of our top colleges and universities in the country as well, Stanford University. UCLA, Scripps College, UC Davis, UC San Diego, and El Camino College.
this time, I'd like to explain what the National Honor Society is and what it means as city officers. But first, I'd like to call the following student representatives to speak for a few minutes, please. The National Honor Society has been a part of City Honor since its humble beginnings in the early 2000s. Membership in NHS is based on cumulative GPA, community service, and character and selection for this prestigious society is administered by our local school chapter and school leadership. All members, once elected, must be formally inducted into NHS through a public declaration or ceremony and candle lighting event. At graduation, students will be identified as NHS inductees at a blue shirt, green, blue and gold cord, and specialized hat. We're very excited to welcome you onto this group of talented individuals. You're strong academics, which means you have earned a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher, commitment to service and leadership, and strength of character have singled you out as the future leaders. You have all in your own way served as role models for the City Honors community, and we would like to thank you for your contribution. The four pillars are the basis for a meaningful and purpose-driven life. They are the basis to which this organization is founded upon and the characteristics that each member strives to emulate in their everyday lives. Defined by members of City Honors International Preparatory School. The first pillar of the National Honor Society is scholarship. Scholarship is a commitment to learning that should continue throughout a person's life, even after a formal education has ended. Knowledge can be gained only through effort and persistence. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, a torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. The second pillar of National Honor Society is service. Each day, opportunity arrives to better our school and community. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without compensation or recognition is a quality that we expect our members to uphold as a natural part of their lives. Member must pledge to volunteer their time and talent to create a better tomorrow. The third pillar of the National Honor Society is leadership. Leaders should exert a virtuous influence on those around them. They take initiative in and out of their classroom and strive to help others succeed. This room is filled with the future leaders of our school, our communities, and our country. The world will always need leaders, and it is crucial that our members have an understanding of what it means to, to be a kind and peaceful leader of others. The fourth pillar of the National Honor Society is character. Character lends true integrity, striving with honor to do what's right even when no one is watching. By demonstrating respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, and citizenship, candidates prove that good, good, good character is essential in our society. This year, our NHS induction um, occurred at our senior breakfast. Students, if you have received your blue stole and blue and gold cords, Please stand. These students have met the requirements of the National Honor Society, which is a 3.0 cumulative GPA, it's across all four years, and service to, to the community. You may now be seated. Thank you, National Honor Society members. While they're walking back, let's give them another hand.
Okay, so now I would like to call back up to the podium our salutatorian of the year, Andrea Iniguez. Good morning, class of 2022. It is an honor to be present on this stage today on such a momentous occasion. It is not just any occasion, but this day marks a true milestone in my life, and not to mention for all of your lives as well. It signifies that we all made our strides in getting all our homework, tests, and projects done for each of our teachers, and we all know how much of a hassle that was. We've been doing this for four years throughout a 180-day period, with our school days lasting for nearly seven hours for the most part, and for some students, additional hours were needed. But you know, that says a lot about each and every one of us on the time and effort that we put into succeeding in our education to get us where we are today at our high school graduation. We all deal with struggles such as burnout, anxiety, and personal matters. Those circumstances are another, another difficult challenge to deal with as we go to school nearly every day of the week. However, even though we all have weaknesses, that does not get rid of our strength. We do not let our weaknesses overcome us and bring us down. We do not give up. Instead, our strengths enabled us to persevere and triumph over times of immense stress, hardship, and hopelessness. This is the most significant reminder on why we are all present in this very moment, because we all did exactly that in our own special ways. It has been such a long and crazy journey, but we finally did it. We are moving on to another chapter of our lives. It will bring us more opportunities towards our lifelong goals, but also possibilities to entirely new and unexpected things. It may sound pretty intimidating, but it sure is exciting at the same time. We all have a path towards making our dreams come true. The fact that we are graduating today lets us know that we are capable of facing those challenges, that we are prepared for what will come in the near future or for what may happen for many years to come. And I sincerely would like to thank every single thing that my family has done for me and <laughs> I couldn't find them at first but now I see them <laughs> thank you so much it feels so different <laughs> it feels so different knowing that I used to be sitting there on that stage watching my brother graduate but now I'm here it done this weekend <laughs> but it feels really nice to be here now and <clears throat> knowing that Dr. Araya was once my English teacher and I sincerely thank her for everything that she's done for me and I specifically remember her always telling me why do you write so much <laughs> well that's just how my motive was in writing for an English class. And that was what really motivated me to continue working hard because I know how important it was for my future and for my family. And I'd also like to thank for my former teachers, such as Mr. Barbie, Mr. Gonzalez, <laughs> and Miss Williams has also helped me a lot too. Um, and I don't see her right now, but I sincerely thank her as well. But for this year, I really would like to also thank Miss Bolden. She's been so sweet, so helpful, and I swear, she's she's just awesome. <laughs> and also for Miss Fletcher. Oh my goodness, Miss Fletcher. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> like, I had so many questions, and because I was so confused, honestly, so I knew that you could help me. And 
for every time you did help me. And I appreciate you and for every single thing that you've done for this class, because I know that every time I see your office so filled up with students. <laughs> but yeah, we did it. And you all should be proud of yourselves. And I hope that with what, whatever you're going to do in your life, I just know that you're going to make it. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, now for our next speaker, I would like to ask this year's valedictorian, Mr. Edgar Diaz, to come back up to the podium. Good morning, Dr. Abaya, fellow graduates, faculty members, and family. I just want to start off by saying congratulations. We are here at the final moments of our high school career. We are here today to not only celebrate our academic achievements, but reminisce on some of our most memorable times of city honors. Today, we bid farewell to everything that was familiar and comforting to us. Now it's time to move on. But as much as it hurts that we're leaving, there are some people who are so deeply ingrained in our lives that we will never leave us. Now that, we are, now that we are moving forward and we are looking at the future ahead of us, in order to grasp where we want to go, we must first comprehend where we come from. We come from moments in our lives that shape who we are, and it's those memories where those certain people are able to stay close to our heart. The fight that you had with your best friend is just a memory. The football games, basketball games, and volleyball games with your friends are just a memory. The time you were up all night finishing assignment, thank you, Mr. Garvey, this is just, just a memory. The friends that you lost are just a memory. Every up and down, as well as everything in between, is only a fleeting moment in time. You may or may not recall these events, but what you will remember are the people you spent them with and how you felt. The way she made you laugh, the way he made you cry, and the way they made you feel like you were on top of the world. All of these events, experiences, and people come together to form a larger event that we refer to as life. Our lives are only a fraction of a second in the grand scheme of things. Appreciate the moment you've been given and the people you've been given to share it with. For a moment, no matter how beautiful or heartbreaking, will always come to an end. Hold on a little tighter, smile a little bigger, and weep a little harder, laugh a little louder, and forgive a little faster, and love a whole lot more, because these are the moments you'll remember when you're old and wishing you could turn back the clock. Nothing lasts forever, so make the most of it while you still have the chance. Today is the day high school will now just, now just be a memory, a memory so large you can only hope to keep them all when the time comes. You will have memories about your long-term friends and even new friends who have made this year worthwhile. Shout out to Ashley Pedroza. But it's, those <laughs> but it's those memories that made those hectic four years of academic validation worth it. With that being said, those memories never forget where you come from, who you are, and where you want to be. We must never lose sight of our roots and family values, which were ingrained in us from an early age, as well as our convictions. Never lose sight of why we work so hard and aspire for more, and most importantly, who we do it for. Some of us are the first members of our families to complete middle school, high school, and now college. We are the first to transform education into a tool for a brighter future, a living embodiment of what it means to be brown and proud. Embody what it means to be from Inglewood, in other words, the city of champions. Triumph and insistence created to follow us. Our lives may not have been the most ideal. We may have seen or experienced aspects of our lives that go unseen by most, but it is in this last moment of high school that creates our stepping stones to make a difference in our community and in this world. And while I can continue with endless words of inspiration and thanks to the class of 2023, Today is also about family, and I want to say a special thank you to my family. A special thank you I can only say in Spanish. No creen que se me olvidaron. Te quiero dar las gracias a mi familia por el eterno apoyo y por siempre creer en mí. En este momento, no hay las suficientes palabras para agradecer los que ustedes significan para mí. Gracias, papá y mamá, por todos los sacrificios que han hecho por mí. Por años, mi mamá. Por años mi mamá me ha dicho, más te vale que te pongan las pilas, y son, las, y son esas palabras las que me hacen seguir adelante. Desde San Miguel del Alto, hasta un estudiante de la Universidad de Stanford, hasta las estrellas que se han convertido en mi límite, trabajaré todos los días para que sus sacrificios no sean en vano. Con mucho honor les, les dedico este logro. Aquí andamos, si se pudo, 
con mucho trabajo y esfuerzo, se seguirá luchando. Class of 2022, like my, other, like my older brother always tells me, the world is your oyster. Each and every one of you has the potential to redefine what it means to be a student from Inglewood. With our voice, actions, and words, we must stroll into every room with a commanding presence, leveraging on unrivaled experiences to thrive in positions and occupy seats at tables where, where we are perceived as unwelcome. We must demonstrate to the future generations of Inglewood students that they too are capable of challenging the status quo and breaking down barriers. Make an impact on this world where all of you become new memories in our distant future. And like I've said before, don't let the fear of the unknown steer you away from the greatness that is to come. Fear isn't your friend, but rather a burglar in disguise. Thank you. Allow now like to recognize four special students who not only met the requirements for high school graduation, but also met these requirements before today. These students are early graduates. Three of them are currently first year students at UCLA. As well, they are student athletes. Please stand when I call your name. Tamarion Hardin. Justin Martin, Clint Stevens, stay standing. Additionally, Mackenzie Lett, entered high school younger than her peers and graduated a semester early, still younger than her peers. Mackenzie will start UC Davis in the fall. Is that correct? UC Merced, excuse me. UC Merced in the fall. Let's celebrate these esteemed students with a round of applause. Okay, you may, you may now be seated, thank you. Sorry about that, Mackenzie. Thank you. Okay, now for the moment our students have been waiting for. <laughs> Dr. Torres, County Administrator, I have the honor to present the graduating class of 2022, a total of 84 graduating students of City Honors International Preparatory School for the 2021-2022 school year. They have successfully completed the requirements of high school as prescribed by the district and the California Department of Education. May I now request the confirmation of their graduation. As the County Administrator of the Inglewood Unified School District and on behalf of the faculty and your principal, I accept the class of 2022. And on behalf of the Inglewood Unified School District's Board of Education, I acknowledge that each of you has met the standards for receiving a high school diploma or certification as set forth by the State Board of Education and the Inglewood Unified School District Board of Education. I confer to each of you your high school diploma with all of the rights, honors, and opportunities appertaining thereto. You all represent the very best of the Inglewood Unified School District. Congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> Dr. Torres. Now I'd like to call two special young ladies up to the stage. <laughs> Mrs. Lauren Fletcher, your counselor. And Miss Alyssa Bolden, our ELA chair. Row one, please stand.
while we wait, I want to give a shout out to Miss Williams, because none of you would be here without her. <laughs> Where are you, Miss Williams? Stand up. Edgar Diaz. Andrea Iniguez. Tariq Al Ukta. Jamima Alfaro. Janet Anadu. Elijah Anderson. Destiny Arnold. Siobhan Baltazar. <laughs> Crystal Belzoni. <laughs> Manasi Boateng. Hunter Bondock. Sierra Broussard. Kiara Bullard. Melissa Calderon. <laughs> Jessica Castro. Rodney Chamberlain. <laughs> Natalia Cheatham. Kalan Clark. Ryan Cologne. Oni Daoud. Mekedis Donna. Tamir Daye. Blessing Ihigalua. William Estrada. <laughs> Bianca Ewell Smith. <laughs> Malachi Ferguson. Leslie Fernandez. Deja Gordon.
Sadite Green. Tyler Green. Matthew Gonzalez. David Gutierrez. Gloria Hailu. Tamarion Harden. Jeshua Harris. Peyton Harris. Ariel Holmes Myla Giovanna Island Jaheem Jackson. <laughs> Theron Jenkins. <laughs> Alexandria Johnson. Jalea Jones. Jeremiah Jones. John Kennedy. Mackenzie Lett. Mario Lopez. Justin Marty. Charlie Mays. Chandler McDaniel. Janelle McKinney. Michelle Cindy. <laughs> Jedi War. Kamaya Mosley. Vendietto <laughs> Qu 
Christiana Okonkwo. Darlene Pacheco. Elise Payne. Ashley Pedroza. Manuel Ramirez. Miguel Ramirez. Steven Ramirez. Shakar Justice Reed. Novea Richards. Rodriguez. Aaron Rodriguez. Anissa Ross. Malia Rowe. Santa Maria. <laughs> Khalil Shuford. Larry Smith. Clint Stevens. Ashley Swanson. Joseph Toscano. <laughs> Valerie Urbina. <laughs> Emily.
Emerson Arkea. Kylan Thompson. <laughs> Nicholas Wiggins. <laughs> Damon Williams. Brooklyn Winters. <laughs> Taylor Winters. <laughs> and David Zapata. We're not done yet, graduates. Okay, please stand. This is what we call the turning of the tassel. No matter what you embark on, in the next stage of your lives, you are united in the fact that you are each unique and special. You will now take the last step of being a City Honors student by turning your tassels. On the count of three, I'm gonna let you guys count it off. You may turn your tassels from the right side to the left to symbolize our transition into your next adventure. Someone start the count. Congratulations to the class of 2022. This concludes this morning's ceremony. Thank you. All right, graduates. Make sure you get your hats before you leave. Okay, row one, you're going to walk. Pick up your hats, please. You're gonna to walk to the right. One more announcement while you're picking up your hats. Pick up your hats, please. As you exit, everyone look to the right. Look to the right. As you exit, there is a giveaway. I need everyone to pick up their hats. I'm still your principal right now. Okay. Pick up your hats. And do not forget your giveaway. Okay, yes, thank you, Kiera. All right, row one on this side, you may start exiting. Row one, follow on this side. Thank you.